to me, womanhood is contention. It is complex. It is fluid. I would define womanhood as an arena constantly moving, shaping, and being shaped by the world, by the systems of inequality that are so foundational to this world, by violence. For so long, and in some ways still now, I associate womanhood with erasure, dispossession, limitation, loss, and being fragmented. And truth be told, womanhood has in many ways shattered my sense of self because of what my body has had to endure. And truth be told, for the longest time, I loathed being a woman. I loathed every fiber of my womanhood merely because that is what we are taught in political, personal, and professional spaces. That womanhood is a weakness. It is inferiority. It is being an other. But now, as I have grown older and as I have returned to histories, my grandmothers and mothers and the nameless women that history has erased and willfully ignored, I've been able to investigate these intergenerational cycles of trauma, of internalized misogyny, of the ways that patriarchy, colonialism, and capitalism have marginalized womanhood because womanhood is feared. And I understand now that womanhood, as much as it is a terrain of costo, of pain. It is also one of radical possibility, of hope, of solidarity, and building a more equitable, kinder, and functional future that works for all of us, no matter the intersections our identities lie in. And I draw strength from womanhood constantly. I turn to the sisters, friends, family, activists, poets, and survivors before me. I, I draw strength from womanhood because as Audre Lorde, black feminist lesbian poet once said, it's better to speak knowing that we were never meant.